Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your Wallops Weather Briefing for Thursday, June 28th. Today is going to mark the beginning of a fairly significant warm-up across the Del Marva that will persist through early next week with uh, dry conditions as well. Taking a look at our conditions across the area from yesterday, we did see a fairly seasonable day across the region, perhaps even a couple degrees below normal for some locations. Warmest spots across the area yesterday were down the tide water, down in the mid-80s. Other locations across the mid-Atlantic region saw temperature, high temperatures near 80 degrees with 81 here at Wallops. Saw mild lows yet again this morning across the area with uh, locations reaching down to the low to mid-70s. Pax River was a warmer spot this morning, only getting down to 78 degrees. Did see some very light shower activity uh, overnight, mainly across the areas to our west and north, with Ocean City receiving six hundredths of an inch and areas near our nation's capital receiving just under five hundredths of an inch. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing that warm-up start across the entire region, with most locations exceeding 80 degrees already. Here at Wallops, we're already at 83 as of 9 a.m. and approaching uh, 86 as of the 10 a.m. hour under partly cloudy skies for m most locations. Taking a look at our sounding from this morning, we're seeing south-southwesterly winds from the surface up to about 1,000 feet, around 10 knots. And then above 1,000 feet, we are seeing those winds turn more west-southwesterly across the remainder of the column of the 25,000 feet. Winds are fairly uh, steady across the column as well, ranging from around 25 to 35 knots um, through from 3,000 to 25,000 feet. We are seeing a pretty high freezing level this morning as we got that uh, warmer air mass moving in at 15,000 feet. Taking a look at our conditions across the area, we are seeing some uh, upper level clouds start to stream in from the west, and then we are seeing some uh, very shallow um, cumulus clouds start to pop across the um, central portion of the Delmarva. These clouds are going to remain shallow throughout the day. Can't rule out a, a very slight chance of an isolated shower as we go towards the early to mid-afternoon hours, but it does look like those chances are going to remain only around 10% or less, so for the most part, still just going to be seeing a partly cloudy to perhaps even mostly sunny day today with temperatures running uh, into the upper 80s and close to 90 degrees. Taking a look at our surface analysis this morning, we did see a warm front past the area in the overnight hours, which did help give some very spotty showers across the region. Um, as I had mentioned before, and that has helped prompt that uh, warm-up that we are seeing this morning with that southwesterly flow with those winds expected to shift more westerly, helping to usher in an even warmer air mass as we go throughout the day today and into tomorrow. Um, we are going to be seeing just a weak um, impulse across the areas this afternoon, and that could give us a very slight chance of an isolated shower, but like I had mentioned, only looking at around 10% of that happening with uh, mainly expecting dry weather, but after today we are going to be seeing some uh, upper level ridge ridging really build in to keep us dry throughout the weekend. So taking a look at our forecast charts through today, well, that's when that uh, weak, very weak front is going to move into the area, not really going to have any impact, impact on our weather, maybe a slight uptick in cloudiness and that uh, 5 to 10% chance of an isolated light shower. Then as we move into tonight, that's when we're going to really see high pressure build in as well as some upper level ridging. And that's going to help to uh, keep our temperatures pretty warm as we go starting into Friday and through the weekend with the high pressure uh, quickly dominating the area as we go um, into tomorrow, giving us some mostly sunny skies starting tomorrow and throughout the weekend. And then we're going to see that high pressure stick around with not really much change in the weather through um, Friday and into early next week as uh, we will have some strong upper level ridge and keeping us dry and warm. Taking a look at our Weather chart for today, we are going to be seeing that high of 89 as we go into today, and then a low of around 74 tonight under partly cloudy skies. Winds today are going to be southwesterly around 8 to 13 knots through uh, the mid-morning hours, and as we go into later this morning near noon, those winds will shift more west-southwesterly, remaining west-southwesterly around 9 to 14 knots through the afternoon hours before they weaken uh, this evening down to around 3 to 8 knots from the west after sunset. And then those winds are going to be shifting a little bit more west-northwesterly early Friday morning, still at around 3 to 8 knots, before becoming northwesterly at 6 to 11 knots mid-morning Friday. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, just going to be mainly seeing some a little bit of cirrus clouds throughout the rest of the morning and early afternoon hours, and then those the very shallow cumulus clouds between uh, around 2,500 to 4,000 feet. Could be seeing some more mid-level stuff near the 1,000 near the 10,000 foot level stream in this afternoon. 
um, but still going to be looking at just partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies throughout the day with no real um, ceilings throughout the afternoon. And then as we go on to tonight, still going to be pretty much seeing similar cloud cover as we're going to see today, becoming just a few at 4,000 and a few at 6,500 for uh, near sunrise tomorrow morning. For the next uh, few days here, we're going to be looking at just partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions and hot. Tomorrow is going to be a very similar temperature to today with a high of 89 under partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Friday night, uh, another low of around 74 under partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. And then Saturday is uh, really going to, when our warm up is going to start to ramp up across the region, seeing a high of 92 here, wallops, and possibly uh, even in the mid to uh, upper 90s across central portions of the Delmarva up near Salisbury um, under mostly sunny skies. Taking a look at the next seven days here, going to be uh, similar conditions today and tomorrow with a high of 89 under partly cloudy skies. Um, we, like I said, we are going to see that 10% chance of an isolated shower this afternoon, but that is going to be our last chance of seeing any rain in the area um, for the next several days here as we're going to be going through a hot and dry spell through at least early next week. Saturday and Sunday are going to be the warmest days in the extended outlook with uh, Sunday when that uh, ridge axis moves over to the area and we really get um, the warmest air moving across the region with a high of 94 expected. Don't be surprised if we see some upper 90s across the uh, central portions of the Del Mar before your Sunday. Monday we'll start to see um, those temperatures weak, uh, get just a little bit lower. Still looking at a temperature near 90 degrees with a high of 91 under partly cloudy skies. And then Tuesday and Wednesday we are going to be getting some more easterly flow moving into the area with which could increase our cloud cover as well as keep those temperatures more in line with seasonable levels in the mid 80s perhaps even low 80s depending on the strength of that uh, easterly flow that developed for tuesday and wednesday so it could be um, a little bit uh, not quite as hot for our fourth of july coming up on wednesday with the increase in cloud cover but still looking like uh, it's going to be some seeing dry conditions during through uh, at least the middle of next week that'll do it for your daily weather briefing we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 15 a.m and at 10 a.m have a great day